I like to be a man of my word. Um, like, uh, I guess I didn't give you my word that I was going to make that announcement video, but uh, when the concept came up, it just seemed too good to pass up. <sighs> it was surprisingly difficult to do, though. I had to, I had to get multiple programs involved because I didn't, I, I don't remember if it's possible to in Premiere, which is what I was using to do it. Which maybe again is too complicated for the whole process. Um, but I was in Premiere and I was like, oh, how do I record a voice over here so that I can just put in words like Bobo the Vulture, uh, <laughs> his. Uh, and I couldn't remember how to do it, so I had to go into Audacity and make a sound file, dice up that sound file and splice it in everywhere else. I just hope it was worth it for everybody. I'm pretty sure everyone will have enjoyed it pretty well. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh, hey, hey, everybody. This is Bobo the Vulture. And I'm Zerfo. And this is uh, Let's Play Together, even though it is a one-player game, Uncharted Waters New Horizons, Ali Vizasa's story. And we just loaded up on Die, and we were thinking about going down to Bordeaux, but well, I Ali feel like maybe... Ali was thinking about it. I'm thinking maybe we should just uh, load up on foods. Although, actually, we have plenty of foods. Just sail back to Istanbul, see how much we can get. Don't you mean Constantinople? Uh, no, now it's Istanbul. Mm. Yep. Let's uh, auto load the ship back up. Man, we have the sexiest amount of food and water. Me ah, let's cast off up top, my brother. Oh, dang it. The moment I made motor sounds, um, we lost whatever current that we had found that was letting us move at 14. It's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes the wind goes, the sometimes motorboat, motorboat goes so slow. <laughs> oh no, motorboat, motorboat goes so slow. That is not a childhood uh, chant that I know, but uh, it certainly sounds like it would be fun. Alright, straight down everybody. Whee! Oh come on, I've got, like, there we go. The way that one that one works is it's motorboat, motorboat goes so slow, motorboat, motorboat goes so fast. Then motorboat, motorboat step on the gas, and then that's when you get the extra burst of speed as you're being spun around in the water or whatever. Oh, I didn't realize this was even a game that was played in the water. Oh yes. Just goes to show what I goes to know. I have so much uh so much slowness here. I have a lot of slowness. This is indeed a motorboat, motorboat situation. While I'm up here, I should just discover whatever town is here. Oh, don't even try and tell me there's not a town here. Thank you. <laughs> I knew something was going on. Some kind of muggy business. So, I'm under the impression that once we pay off some more of our uh, debtors, we're going to uh, start making a little Just more money. Or not making oh. well, Yeah. There's the some, story there's some may stuff advance a little happen. bit. I'm not sure how soon it'll all happen, but there's definitely some stuff that can happen. Oh shit, this isn't the way I need to go. And we ran out of food and water. I thought we had 24 days. I guess we only had 21. Quick, before everyone starves to death. Get to town. George's navigation level and seamanship and knowledge went up. That's good. And he didn't have a boat, so uh, he didn't get to uh, abandon us. I could always see whether or not they have a specialty here, and um, no, there's no see harm whether in, or not they want to If you go to the inn right now, 
and leave. There's, well, there, and just go to sleep. There's no harm because it's before midnight. Actually, I should see if they have a special item here. Ah, you want to go to the black market. It's just a market. I, I've been wandering around attempting to search for talents. I should probably just uh, cool off on that just a little bit. 2 a.m., so that'll be a really relaxing night for all of our crew. Get in at 11.30, wake up at 2 a.m. Don't you feel revitalized and refreshed? Really special items. Whoa! <laughs> ha ha! A tax-free permit issued by the Governor General of Italy. It gives one tax-exempt status when trading in ports affiliated with Italy. Mm. And these these shady McShades ones, did they expire, or is this just good? Uh, I'm not sure. I wonder if there's a chance you can get caught. Is it a chance we're willing to take? Oh, it's... Fall? Well, it's a tax. Uh, it's tax free, man. I think it's worth it. Assuming we start shopping in Italy for things. There is no distinction between them. Okay, so. Blade Sky Dancer says there's no distinction between them, which I guess means that this one would expire at some point. Not sure when. Hmm. And it cost us 10,000 gold pieces. Which so is the cheapest un you can buy a real one from once you are an earl or above. So you, you, you get, get roughly a 16.67% discount by buying one of these. Okay. And it expires every April and October. So take note of what time it is before you buy one. It's April already. Is it April 1st? Probably. So this might be the most ideal time to buy one. The ones you can get at shops from uh, cost 10k and require no rank. Let's go ahead and buy this and uh, just... we got to figure out some stuff in Italy. Mm -hmm. Or we just have to look at who's affiliated with Italy. Tax-free permit will cost us 10,000 gold pieces. Which isn't really that much. That's like... one ingot. Yeah. Is it one ingot or is it a tenth of an ingot? It is an ingot. It is an individual ingot. 10,000 is a ingot. And this is a neutral port, so this isn't even affiliated with Italy. So they're not even, uh, your tax permit is fake April Fools. No, man, it's, uh, too late in the month for that. April Fools is gone and passed, so all our stuff's tax free at last. So, buy goods. Now you don't have any specialty items. I will go ahead and uh, just supply up and take my leave. Thank you all kindly. All right. Let's supply up. Let's fill up totes with boats. Or no, is it Floating McBoatface is the one? That, yeah, Floating McBoatface is our, our supply ship. Yep. I should have named it Foods. We can sail for 21 days. Now, where are some nice cities in Italy that have special... Special trade goods. That's what we need to find out now. Well, probably most of the major ones, so like Venice and, and them guys. Venice and them such folks. Can't believe there's not a port right here. More right there. Is Sicily on that island? Uh, we were just in Sicily. Oh, man. Yeah, we were just on the boot.
Alright, let's, uh, let's check out uh, Venice here. I can't believe this guy agreed to work with us, even though he's a pirate. He's like, I'm tired of the pirate's life. We have a couple of pirates here. I prefer naming a boat Yahtzee or Ahoy Vey. What about Ahoy Hoy? Oh, it's three o'clock. We can't check. Can't find out what the special item is here. Maybe it would have been a tax-free permit to... Um, would have been a tax-free permit to Turkey. Or, the, I guess, the Ottoman Empire. So much Wait, this place is allied with Turkey. What the... How can I help you? <laughs> I hate this 20% they're charging us now. Now that I know how easy it is to not be paying it. 20%. That was a real... We can buy glassware here, which is pretty nice. Venice has a special sword or special armor. I think you may be right. So... We can, we can still pick up glassware. If we buy the glassware before we sell our stuff, it will drive the price of dye up. Will it not? Because you buy it at a low price, and the guy's like, I get it my money back somehow, and then the economy goes up, and you're like, sucker, now that you've raised your prices, we're selling you stuff. Oh, is that so? So I should attempt to fill up a boat with glasswares. Mm -hmm. And this is where the two boats comes in handy if you're going to do buying and selling, because you can buy... I would only pay one for this. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Uh, that price is acceptable. He is doesn't know is that so? Nope. How much would I pay? Um, a gold. 220. 203. Oh man, we're gonna save so much money. Something yeah. like 23 bucks. All the glassware. We're actually down to an ingot. Nah, but it's about to go up. It's about to, business is about to pick back up, it's true. It went up by an amount. It went up by an amount. Okay. I my I had a I had my circumspect face on there for a second. I'm sure someone in chat noticed how much it went up by. We only have fourteen ingots now though. I guess the glassware was that much more expensive. Yeah, it was two hundred and something. Well, alright. We're still not doing too bad. Boy, there, maybe we'd be shoving off. Let's uh, supply up first. Let's uh, auto load up. Auto load. <laughs> was that your uh, Barack Obama slash um, the? It was my. I it guess, was my caught out voice. The secondary scientist from. Um, uh, Damn it! Uh, the the fun chibi robot game on Super Nintendo Robotrek. Oh, I thought you were thinking of slapstick. Slapstick, yeah, that that sort of a game. Did I tell you I saw a uh, I saw a card of that at a collector shop not long ago. Well, and I guess by not long ago I mean within the past year. Was it expensive? Uh oh yeah, I mean it was like that's where well, you like get Ray 35, 40 bucks. Let's stop in Ragusa, just take a look. See, this is allied with Portugal. <laughs> Nothing makes sense anymore. Well, we're going to have to start making everybody allied with uh, the Ottoman Empire pretty, pretty soon. How may I help you? Do you have any goods for sale? Th they have dye also. Wait, this dye is 111. How much was the dye we bought back in... Uh, it was 94. Oh, okay. You're taking notes. I didn't take notes. That's the one I remembered because you had to tell me. Well, geez. Sounds like uh, their specialty is a terrible special. It looks like you could cheap styles it for probably like three trips and just go back and forth selling dye from this place, the last place we went to, because we sold it for 147 the other place. It's already a 30, 30 gold difference. Um, you want to do that? <laughs> no. No, there's bigger profits to be made. You say that, and yet... Here we are, cruising around. Well, we might have to bring this glassware back up to... Remember, uh... 
what's the place we were at? Uh, near Denmark. You uh, were looking at the thing, and they said glassware was pretty good there. Well, that's the kind of thing that... Um, the kind of thing Ali says in his, like, various fever dreams. <laughs> buy goods. Art is the local specialty. We could buy art here. But first, we should look at selling um, our glasswares. See, that's a profit on our glasswares. That's only like 10 bucks each, though, isn't it? Well, let's take a look at the uh, index here. Wrong index. There we go. 203, so it's like 20. Mm. It's not too bad, I suppose. But if I we mean, buy gotta... the art first, the price will go up. So what is it right now if we try to sell? I wanna I wanna prove this works. See, this is three sixty seven. Yep. We're not gonna be able to buy a lot. Um so I should try and buy go it. Go to now. sell first. I just wanna see what the price was. Although you may have just clicked faster than I could see. Okay, so it was three sixty seven. So if I sell this now, you're saying we should sell this. No, I'm saying you should buy the other one. Well, all right. I'll try see, buying. It's hard to say because if you buy our, the, we're gonna be able to sell the other stuff for more. Oh boy, Hearts of Iron Four. Yeah. How how cheap can we get this? How low will we go? Uh, 100? 348 is what we can talk them down to. Mm -hmm. Now, I get the feeling we are not going to be able to fill up Totes McBoats with art at that price. We will be able to buy 416 arts. So, if you want to, right, so we got 416. If I want to, I could save state. You can, yeah. Well, yeah. You could save state, and then we could find out which way is a little bit better. If it's better to sell first and then buy, or if it's better to buy first and then. And it might depend okay, on which one's you... more expensive, right? Because I guess technically. I mean, the art is more expensive than the uh, glasswares. Yeah. But if you buy this, how much does it change the price of our buy? It's changed 100? by. Hundred. So it's. Yeah, it's gone all the way up to. Yeah. All right, so let's sell the goods. Now, how much were they asking for them before? Uh, 234, so it's gone up by seven. Okay. So we could try the opposite and see how much art goes down by. Or we just sell it at seven and say, hey, we made a profit. We're not gonna buy any art just now. So art is now 367. Yep, and we got it down to what? 348. Okay. I'm glad you're keeping these notes, because I definitely am not. We're cracking all the uh, secrets of Uncharted Waters that everybody already knew. Apparently, you probably could have sold that, like, in two different batches, and it probably would have tanked their economy more. But now it's... So, it's already down by over 10. So, this is going to be the more price-saving way? Yeah. 352... 338. Oh, yeah. We definitely need to sell to tank their economy first. Yeah, so we, we save 10. I think it depends on which one's more expensive. If you're going to sell something that's worth 1,000, you want to buy first and then sell? Because I think it's like a oh, percentage we can, beast. Now we can fill an entire boat full of art. Well, we also had a lot more money because we sold stuff. Oh, yes, no, 404 are not found. Well, it's all right. We don't need to find any more art. I'm not going to get another boat full of fine paintings. All right. I love how slowly that image is loading. <laughs> Was that an animated GIF of a slow load of all right? <laughs> no, I think <laughs> all right. Oh man, there is still plenty of trading left. <laughs> I've been waiting for the opportunity to put all right up. I guess we we filled the full boat and full of art was enough for me. I mean, that is probably as, as big an achievement as we're going to be able to accomplish here in the uh, immediate future. Let me guess. You want to go to Bordeaux with this? Nope. He says Naples will give us a good price. Is Naples allied with Italy? 
Um, shit. Wait, didn't we just go to Naples? Was that Naples we were in? Well, let's check the old logs. Hmm. No, Naples is on the other side, isn't okay, it? Okay, it's got to be Adelaide with Italy then, because we got to get we got to get this tax-free um, permit, making us some money. Yeah. Nagusa, Venice. Yeah, let's let's go over to Naples and uh, Nap Let's go over to to Naples and sell the arts. Naples. Hey, let's go Naples. over there to Naples. There was a uh, there was a a film project that. Uh, Actually, I believe a Kalos was working on back in college. Kalos uh, is a college buddy of mine. Um, I don't think it was his project. I think it was something he was working on with someone else. But either way, we were both, you know, because like when a video project gets gets going on, you sort of end up just recruiting all of your friends to uh, play various roles and whatever the thing is. And uh, for some reason, you know, it was late. Everybody was punchy and. Uh, the video ended up getting played backwards and there was definitely a segment of the video that sounded as though Akela said, it's my nipples. <laughs> I feel like we need to record someone saying that and play it back and we find out what the original line was. Alright, where, where are we now? Okay, we're sailing around the boots. Naples, home of Italy's easy button. Oh, is that so? Oh, right, the easy button, I guess. The uh, belly button is that we're considering. Watch, it'll turn out that uh, the uh, city in Sicily that was uh, right there was actually Naples, and I uh, wasn't paying attention last time around. Yeah, I think this might be it here. No, this is going to be Rome. Oh, it's Naples. I don't have Google well, Maps open. Damn, my navigation level in seamanship just went up. I hope so. You just found out where From Naples learning was. that information. Allied with England, what is going on, Italy? The traders I think the, the world have been messing with them. I think the tax permit, uh, the tax free permit from uh, England, um, I think it, or Italy is just, it's just a gag uh, tax free permit. <laughs> it doesn't actually apply anywhere. Jeez. Oh, no, they seem to imply, well. Uncharted waters, ports, allied with. Mm. Anyways, they do have a specialty here. And I do want to see what they are selling the art for. They are they are buying art for four sixteen. Okay. So, apparently Venice, uh, Ragusa, Naples, Pisa, and uh, Marcel's Mar yeah. are supposed to be Italy. Yeah. So but people have enough been trading. trading has gone on in the world. No, no. According to this FAQ, it's supposed to be in this game. No. Or well, like I mean the. The allegiances shift around oh, yeah, as people invest in ports. I'm guessing. I didn't realize that the game simulated that happening. Um, Other than when you did it? Aside from us doing it, mm -hmm. but uh, apparently that's so. But I tell you what, let's go ahead and sell this art. Because we're making like 100, 100 gold profit off of it. Now we have 38 ingots. All right, twenty percent. And yes, the wool cloth is slightly cheaper, and I think it's about the same price. See, I think this might, might be, be slightly cheaper. One of the situations where you're better off selling or buying <laughs> first because it's so cheap. Do you know what I mean? Like the the change that wool cloth did wasn't very much, but had we changed their economy by three in the opposite direction, it would have been a larger shift in uh, the price of art. I don't, I don't know. Because I think it, it, I mean, it's got a percentage. I think it actually changes by percentages. Well, it's done now. Yeah, yeah. Next time. Maybe. Man, it's too much financial strategy going on. We got a min max. I just want to, I just want to sail around and uh, get all the money. That, this is how you get all the money. You sail around and then you min max. 
All right, where do we want to sell this wool cloth? Alexandria will give us a good price for wool cloth. All right, I'll go down to Alexandria. Maybe they're allied with uh, Italy since, um, you know, Venice isn't. Well, what's their capital? Alexandria? No, no. No, Alexandria is outside the capital. It's a suburb of DC. I'm thinking if we, so I'm assuming that Rome is the capital Padampa. of Italy in this crazy land still. I would imagine you can't make Italy, like, you can't make Rome not allied with Italy anymore. If we do want to pop just up there, it should be just up the leg a little bit more. And see if there's something in there we want to purchase at a discount. Genoa is the capital, Blade Genoa says to us. Well, it's roughly the same direction, just a little further. Rome does not make an appearance. Now, I guess it's not really a port. Off, then, in search of salami. It'd be so good. I hope it's hot. Hot salami? What are you talking about? That's like pastrami. Can't say I've ever had the experience of hot salami. Sorry. Let's stop in Pisa. Maybe Pisa is still allied with Italy. It's neutral. It is a neutral port. Oh, jeez. Screw it. Not even bothering to stay to find out what your specialty is. Maybe I should. Oh, I guess I will. We might want to start investing in some of these places a little bit just so that they're prime. I was going to I was going to try and wait cuz I feel like the governor general, or not the governor general, um the sultan starts giving us missions to increase um our sphere of influence mm -hmm. around the world. That's true. So I was going to wait until he started asking for that. How can I help you? Do you have anything special? They have silk. Mm. 196 luxurious also uh how much did we buy the wool cloth for 81 no it was less than that 76 so how much would you buy it for <laughs> all right we could still buy silk cloth, I guess. Well, I still Just... think we should pop up to... We're so close to... It's uh, Genoa's on the same screen as us right now. Well, I know, but silk cloth, it just 20%, seems like 20 it's 20% discount. Tree. All right. All right. They All might right. have silk cloth, too. I don't know. Let's uh, see we... I like how that guy always thinks like he's looks like he's really thinking hard about... How many days? It's going to be mm, 18 days. Capital of Italy. Whatever you have here, give it to... <laughs> okay. So it turns out it's pretty good for us, actually, that uh, Italy's faltering, but... Tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... Make it night times? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save the current game. Just in case. Then we're gonna make it night times. Are you guys still here? Ah, oh, they got tired. Alright. This guy's been walking in and out of this port all day. There's no way he's not tired. We're going to bed. He'll take a nap in there or something. Yeah. Alright, so. Step one make ourselves at home. Step two, check out at 2 a.m. <laughs> That's right, hum a little tune. Now as the night uh, descends. We sneak into the castle and kill uh, the king. That's right. I mean, go into the item shop. Look for specialty items. We could get a velvet coat. So the shop cart, shopkeeper was like, "Oh, because it's nighttime. Uh, now for something you'll, we hope you'll really like." And we're like, "No, this coat, this coat does not match our uh, shoes." I am willing to stay an extra day. 
because I realize this is going to like roll past oh, yeah, it's gonna roll this over. current 8 a.m. It's not worth it doesn't the, really. Uh... I don't think that matters too much to the uh, overall scheme of things. And we get to the end of the game, and it's like, Ellie, we found your sister, but she died one day ago exactly. If you hadn't stayed at that inn, you would have saved her. How oh, may I help you? Let's buy some goods. You have a tax free permit, so there's no tax for you. Yay. And we could buy silver. Oh, man. Yes. How much can we sell? What's it called for? How much can we sell? What's it called for? What we're full of. <laughs> no, not manure. <laughs> Are you talking about our, uh, you know, wool? Wool cloth. Yeah, that's a loss. Keep it. We got two. We got two boats for a reason. All right. You have tax free permits, so no soup for you. Is this? That's acceptable for us. All right. It's not that we don't trust him. I mean, he was thinking about it really hard. We're just curious if they'll. Let us have it for a really good price. 174. All right. 174 gold pieces. Let's fill up Vulture Boto. All the silver. Now we are carrying around silver and wool cloth. Let's find out where we should sell silver. London would give us a good price for silver. Because they're all about the pound sterling, mm -hmm. so they need silver. You gotta have enough of that uh, around to make a currency. Yes! And we managed to successfully sneak away sneakily. So let's uh, supply up. I'm surprised they don't like charge you extra for food and stuff if you're like, oh hey, you are those guys that we're at war with. Uh, we'll let you supply up, but we're gonna charge you double. Hmm. I suppose anything could happen. But um, I will, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and say, after surviving such a harrowing experience as that, <laughs> finding the <laughs> last remaining bastion of Italy, and, um, you know, surviving going through there, despite apparently them being very hostile toward us. Yeah, we got to make at least an ingot profit off of this thing, too. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say that is good for a video. When we come back next time, folks... We've got two giant boats filled with amazing luxury goods that we've got to off. So um, we're going to be rolling in it whenever we get uh, we get somewhere or another. We have gotten, again, sidetracked from trying to get back to Istanbul by finding out, <laughs> oh, we could go to Alexandria and sell this. Well, that's cool. We could go back to London again. Well, we could go to Alexandria and then just not buy anything there and just book it to Istanbul. Well, or we could see if there's anything for sale. And, um, yeah, we, we, we'll, we'll figure it out. But until then, folks, this is Bobo the Vulture. Time's your fault. And this has been Let's Play Uncharted Waters New Horizons 2, Ali Vizasa's story. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.